All right, listen up. Stop making those same old boring cables. Ah! It's time to level up. Today, I'll show you three epic sci-fi cable design that will take you like five minutes to model. Fast, easy, and they look straight out of a futuristic movie. Oh, and if you have no clue who I am, hey, I'm Jack. I've been messing around with Blender for two years now. Wanna know more? Check the description. And today, I am inviting you to my first episode of Break the Limits. Let's go. Do not take what I say and do exactly what I say. Break the Limits. Alright, let's kick things off with the first one. This epic ribbon cables. Now, I know you might seen some long overcomplicated tutorial on this, but don't worry. I'm here to keep it short and sweet. So, let's start by making this cable. You've got two options here. Option number one, the vertex method. Start with a single vertex. Extrude it to create the shape you want, then convert it into the curve. Pros, super easy and perfect for fixed shapes. Cons, it destructive, meaning once you're done, you can't easily tweak the shape later. Option number two, the Bezier curve method. Pros, more flexible, non-destructive, and gives you more control. Cons, might be a little confusing if you're just starting out. For now, let's keep things simple and go with option one. Step one, add a single vertex, extrude it, and create any shape you like. Step two, select the middle part or select all the vertex, press Ctrl plus Shift plus B, and run a bevel to smooth it out. Step 3. Go to object mode, right click and convert the mesh to a curve. Now let's bring in the magic. Step 4. Add a plane, stretch it along the x-axis and make it thinner on the y-axis. Since ribbon cable have multiple stripes of wire, we'll use an array modifier to get that look. Step 5. Select the plane, add a curve modifier and set the target to a curve. If it look all weird and rotated, don't panic. That's just Blender being Blender. Fix it by adding a loop cut in the edit mode and increase the count to 15. And if you go to the object mode, boom, now your plane follows the curve smoothly. Step 6. Time to add some modifiers. Solidify modifier. Add thickness, just enough to make it look right. Array modifier. Set X to 0 and Y to 1. Then increase the count to get multiple stripes. You can tweak the value to get the perfect separation. Subdivision modifier. Set it to 2 for the smooth, curvy look. If it still looks like a little bit off, duplicate the modifier for extra smoothness. Final touch. Add some loop cut at each corner to sharp the edges. Bring it to as close as possible. And that's it. Now you can add some connectors each side, play around with different colors and customize however you like. See, no headache, no overly complicated steps. Just as fast and fun to make a cool ribbon cable. Now let's move on to the next one. Cylindrical Sci-Fi Cable. This one is a banger. Let me show you how to do it. Step 1 is the same as before. Create a curve using the method we used to do in the ribbon cable. If you missed that part, go back and watch it. Once you've got your curve ready, it's time to build the shape. Step 2. Add a cylinder and scale it however you like. The crazier, the better. Seriously, go nuts with it. Step 2. Jump into edit mode. Now, let's add some cool details. Bevel the top and bottom faces to smooth things out. Insert those faces, then delete them. We want an open tube. Select all the edges including the bottom. Right click, go to loop tools and select bridge to fill the empty space. By the way, loop tool is an add-on, you need to install from the blender extension. Step 3. Now let's add some sci-fi vibes. Add a loop cut in the middle, extrude it outward and scale it down on the z-axis. Add another loop cut, bevel it slightly and then extrude it for some extra details. Honestly, just let your creativity go wild. Try out different shape, play with proportion make it look like something out of a futuristic. Step 4. Once you're happy with your design, it's time to multiply these bad boys. Add an array modifier, set X to 0 and Z to 1 or whatever works for your setup. Then crank up the count. Step 5. Now, 
Let's make the cylinder actually follows the curve. Add a curve modifier to the cylinder and set the target to a curve. If things looks weird, check out the array and curve axis match. In my case, I need to set the curve to Z axis. So I adjust it until it fit perfectly and boom. That's how we can make the stunning sci-fi cable in just a few minutes. Simple, quick and super customizable. Now don't forget these steps because I'm not going to explain it again. Alright, let's move on to the final cable. Spinal cables. These are the most complicated cables to model. Nah, I'm just messing with you. They are actually the easiest to once yet. For this, we are going to use the super handy blender add-on called Geo Cable. If you don't have it yet, don't worry, I'll got you covered. The download link is in the description. Step 1. Install the add-on and press N to open the side panel. You will see a new tab called A Tools. Open it and click on Create Cables. Step 2. Now just left click wherever you want the cable to start, then left click again to set the end position. The cable is now wrapped onto your model. Just right click to confirm and exit the menu. Step 3. Let's tweak these things. Head out to the Modify tab, where you will find the customizing settings, drip value, controls how the cable hangs, separation. I just spacing between the multiple cables, cable count, add more cable if you need them. These are all the basics, but here's where it get fun. Increase the twisted value and you'll start to see some spiral pattern going on. Adjust the sub radius and the spiral will look even more detailed. Crank up the sub count and suddenly your cable looks ultra complex and mechanical. But we both know how easy it actually was. And that's it. In just a few clicks, you got a stunning sci-fi cable, no pain, no stress, just pure efficiency. So there you have it. I just showed you 3 epic and ridiculous easy way to create jaw dropping cables for your 3D model. No more boring wires, it's time to level up your work. Work smart and leave people wonder how you pull it off. That's my secret. Alright, I'm out, catch you in the next one.